and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Z. We're going to be playing an aggressive version of Noxus and Ionia um, with Z in here and also with Katarina being able to get extra attacks. Because of course Z, whenever you have like a, a larger Z or you know like a leveled up Z attacking, this is a card that's very difficult to block and can put a lot of pressure on the opponent. So if we get to attack multiple times with Zed, that could be pretty cool. So that's what our deck's about. We're also about going wide. So we're, we have basically a bunch of a whole bunch of small units, and we're gonna try to be going wide with those with the Arena Battlecaster, House Spider, and that kind of stuff. And with us going wide, we're gonna have Crowd Favorite. And here, Crowd Favorite, like let's say we just only have three other allies whenever we play Crowd Favorite. Then it's a 5-4 Overwhelm. With a 4-mana 5-4 Overwhelm is definitely worth it. Um, so that's that's the hope, is to have 3-plus other units whenever we do play Crowd Favorite. To finish the game out, we have Kato the Arm. With Kato with Zed is pretty amazing, especially leveled up Zed, where um, the Living Shadow gets the keywords as well. So you can give, you can give both of them plus 3, plus 0, and Overwhelm. So that's pretty awesome. Um, also a Captain Farron to help close the game out. Playing Ionia also gives us Deny for all these decks with like Avalanche and um, Vengeance, Ruination, Feel the Rush, all that kind of stuff. Um, but in general, I think we're going to be very weak to Avalanche. That's So I don't really want to play against the Avalanche deck. So I'm a little worried about, you know, Battlecaster, House Spider, um, that kind of stuff. But we're going we're gonna to try it out. We're going to see uh, how this does with uh, Katarina and Zed. All right, so we're going to go play our five games in ranked. Let's see how we do. All right, haven't played against Demacia deck in a while. So looks like we're playing against um, the Elites. It's Mono Demacia. Right, so I, I, of course, like the one drop, two drop. I don't love Katarina on three. In fact, you know what? Let's mulligan Katarina. I want to have... There we go. I'd rather have Zed on three. Katarina is more of a late game card that allows us to use a lot of mana. All right, and I am... Okay, so 2-2 two, two Tough is the card I'm worried about. Like, if I just go, like, Battlecaster, they could have the 2-2 two, two Tough card. I am just really considering just attacking with the Legion Saboteur and dealing 3 damage. The other option is Grenadier, I think. So I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i go ahead and go with the Grenadier. If they play 2-2 two, two Tough, that's kind of bad for me. But if they play the um, Battlesmith... One three. Who's gonna get in my say way? if they play Battlesmith, then this is better to because they don't want to block with the Battlesmith, so we put more pressure on them. Love the might. Might is great with Zen. It's dangerous out there. Take this. All right, let's go to attacks. Yeah, Might is just awesome with Zed because it's and it's already difficult to block Zed, but then also you could give Zed that Overwhelm so that then it levels up Zed. Okay. So they're willing to take a bunch of damage. Let's go ahead and go with... Deal 1 to this. Give that plus 2, plus 2. All right, good start. Hey, Blanco, welcome from Mexico. Thanks for joining. Long time YouTube follower, first time follower on Twitch. Well, happy to have you here. Ho hopefully you're here in chat more. This is, uh, at this time is what I stream every single day, except Wednesday. Wednesday, I, I stream a little later. Um, I start the stream two hours from right now on Wednesdays. Oh, it is a great day for a and a good Katarina draw. Ready to do my part. Never I'm not going to play this Blade's Edge because next turn we're going to have six mana. I want this one spell mana to be my seventh because replaying Katarina costs four and then I want to have Might and Noxion Fervor available, especially Might. You'll never see it coming. 
with this, it's important to have the Zed attacking before the Battlecaster, so that, you know, you get the other ability over here. All right, GG's. They will all learn to feel my order. That would have been... Okay, Callista Twisted Fate. Should be a fun one. I could definitely see keeping another Zed in case something happens to the first Zed. I'm not sure. Right, so I don't know. You know what? Let's just keep Katarina. Let's just do that. We'll keep Katarina. Even though we don't necessarily need a Katarina early, but we already have um, Zed on three, which is like the most important thing. Be nothing left when I'm done. Uh oh. That's a huge problem. That means make it rain kills Zed. And Legion Grenadier. Oh, that's a problem. Huh. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I guess we have to Katarina and kill the keg with Katarina. Try me. And therefore, I guess I, I also block, I guess. Yeah, so I think I have to yeah make the Blade's Edge to kill this thing. I don't want to do that, because that's me, like, taking up a whole turn to do nothing. We did just draw Iron Ballista. Maybe I can go Iron Ballista. That doesn't die to make it rain. Even with a Powder Keg. Yeah, I, I do enjoy the labs, though. Ugh. So this is a different kind of deck than I was really anticipating. So this looks like, you know, like the Bilgewater Shadow Isles Control, which you usually see as like Twisted Fate Gangplank, but they're going with Callista instead. This is going to be a more difficult matchup for us. We'll go Iron Ballista to trade with Callista. I don't, I don't want to block with Zed or Katarina. Basically making sure we have Transfusion available to help protect Zed. But yeah, Block, we've done pretty good with just, yeah, our, our uh, four different decks a day, five games each. We've done pretty good at ranking up with those. No complaints there. I guess I just let it die. Hold it, partner. Do not deny me. They can block with Dreadway Deckhand and Twisted Fate if they want to level up Callista, which could then attack and put in another put another like Dreadway Deckhand back in. All right, gonna go ahead and use the Might so that Zed does damage to them, so that um, we level up Zed. Just kind of doing this to make it a little bit more difficult for them to kill my Zed. With it being a 4-3. Love that Kato draw. Kato plus Zed is nice. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. The real question is, do I want to go immediately to attacks? Show the Russians, shackle the prisoners. Or would I rather play Katarina before attacking? Probably play Katarina before attacking. Yeah. So I can have either Transfusion or Blade's Edge, one of the two, not both. If I'm going to be playing Katarina again. Yeah, double Katarina this turn and growing the Zed again <laughs> would be pretty awesome. That's the plan. Nothing but a foot 
no. You picked the losing side. So I can do one or the other to help protect Kato, transfusion or Blade's Edge. I'm glad they're not blocking. Oh wait, they don't have the mana replay. Another twisted fate. I was gonna say I'm kind of scared of another twist, like like they let twisted fate die, then twisted fate gold card. Hmm. All right, so that means I do not get to replay Katarina. All right, I'll just kill the three one to. Save all the damage on my Kato. This might hurt. The, the Rose shall find their vengeance! So they have Tortured Prodigy will be their largest um, thing that's died. Yeah, this is like the best setup, right? Katarina, Kato, Zed. That's pretty sweet. All right, well, Twisted Fate will level up. But we have to just not take lethal. Because Captain Farron, even if they can handle all of this, Captain Farron should decimate them. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, Twisted Fate's super good. It can be bad for us. But they'd have to... They'll have to do a whole lot to stay alive. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid! I'm a people person. Surprised they're not getting the gold card out first. They're gonna give like Callista Overwhelm and also stun, and then you know, then gold card in the process. If they have might, which they could have might, cost three mana, it's called Pilfered Goods. They would play Pilfered Goods, draw might from my deck, play might on Callista. That would put that would probably that would actually kill me. Cause then they just need to go to then I'd go down to one. They would just go to my turn, need to be able to play two things for red card. All that glitters. Okay. That atrocity was going to leave them. Go time. I give you muscles. This is outrage. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. Isn't that still... Okay, so that, that will red card and then Atrocity kill me. Alright, fair enough. Um, Alright, GG's. Auction fervor clutch. Wait, whoops. Two no. Zed finishing it out. Okay, similar deck with Diana and Nocturne, you know, there's another 
aggressive Shadow Isles deck. This deck is super good, though. And... Hey. <laughs> uh, Pope... Oh, yeah, Pope, Pope's one of our uh, viewers here in chat. Hey, Pope. Is the one true light. Giardone, welcome from Italy. Cali Commuter! What's up, Cali Commuter? Hope you're doing awesome. Alright, so unfortunately we don't have the attack token on turn three for the Zed. That would be ideal. Also not sure if I should be trading. Maybe I'm going to. The guilty will bend. Tinkering with the Twisted Fate Undying. Okay. I like that. Yeah, Twisted Fate Undying. I, I could see some good stuff going on there. Another grenadier be able to block this thing. Oh, we can. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I go get him, Zed. Please control. I right, so get to keep my Zed from leveling up with just that little ephemeral copy. Um, we're going to need to use Fervor on Diana to protect Zed. Or on the 4 1. Or the, the 5 3. Or on uh, whatever that card's called. Yeah, that card. Nocturne. Um, both their things are almost leveled up. I guess we're really doing this. I guess I'm supposed to play this. Hey, Ivar with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I think it's this one. Oh, there's one with the moon. Haha. -ha. Okay. That makes life easier. The one with the moon. Well, that's a bummer. Darkness. That third unspeakable horror probably just saved my opponent. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Darkness hides in my path. Yep, geez. Alright, Tom Kench and Soraka. This is probably going to be a tough matchup considering they do a great job of blocking and we're trying to attack with smaller units. Um, I love the Zed plus Might pairing. I think that's that's a perfect pairing. We want to keep that. Might has really overperformed with Zed. The thing is, is, is Iron Ballista. That's the one I'm not sure about if we want to... Um, I think I'll keep it. That's the one I'm not sure about. Here. 
I don't think we're at like a point where like the the two mana units are like for this matchup. I don't think the two mana units are are as valuable, and so I don't think we have to mulligan looking for a two mana unit. All right, with them not wanting to trade, I think that means they have guiding touch. We shall weave our own destiny. You leave me no choice. Take heart. Okay, I thought they had guiding touch, but maybe it's pill cascade. Well, Cascade's just... that's definitely a problem with trying to go Zed Might. Pledge yourself to the shadows. That's definitely a problem. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Hope only provides temporary sustenance, child. Everything's in place. I understand. I guess if they have Pale Cascade, I'd probably just lose with this attack. Another nibble. Please don't have it. Oh, hush. All right, well, that also makes me lose. Damn it. Darkness. So they had hush. Appetizers of plenty. Stars live with purpose. Fuse is lit. That was the better thing to eat. I was, you know, hoping that they would go for the four ones that have the transfusion. So what's in store for me? Uh, I need time for commute, Tom. This you know. Where there's a will, there's a meal. They had a very good hand. Like I, I had a good hand. Like I can't, I can't complain about my hand at all. My hand was was very good too. But there's. Um, was also, like, you know, their hand was great, matched up great against what I was doing, too. Yeah, they had one drop, then they got to save the two mana for the hush, play both champions. And they had Pale Cascade. Wasn't that like the first card? So they, they would have had Pale Cascade as, if they wanted to use that as well. And then they just drew Astral Protection. No, po no positive outcomes for us in that game. It's just going to be the slow burn of us getting eaten alive by Tom Kench. Okay, Fiora Shen. 
This should be pretty tough because of all of their challengers. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, I like the Katarina. Um, we kind of need some spells. I so want Katarina and Zed and spells. Challengers are tough. Challengers make make this kind of strategy of just playing small units and makes it difficult to do. Okay, good. We got a, got a uh, transfusion. You know, Tom Kench isn't isn't like a a challenger in the traditional sense, but Tom Kench is basically a challenger. Um, you know, with it like every single turn, it's you know it's challenging, right? Like you, it chooses to eat something. It's just the same aspect as challenging. Water changes, but never breaks. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! So basically, I wanted to play Katarina right here because I want to have Blade's Edge to be able to kill a barrier, to destroy a barrier. So we have our choice between Transfusion and Blade's Edge. By my honor, you must die. Your honor's killing someone today. Victory at any cost! Fortunately, it means I don't get to attack with these, because if I attack with these, then they just block the Battlecaster. And then I'm like, priced into using like Transfusion, and then they use Barrier. And then that's just you know, pretty bad. Then we don't have the Blade's Edge. I think I have to eat, let Katarina die. What form will the waters take? Someone get him up! I don't know, that could be a pretty big mistake, but I feel like I have to let the Katarina die. Turn this Fiora into being a 3-2 that doesn't get easy challenges. So for each challenge that they want to do, they have to use a barrier card. Reaching Dragon. This is pretty awkward, going wide with small units against Fiora. I wish I would have played the battle this Battlecaster last turn. Playing the Battlecaster gives me both of these spells available. Sharp blade, sharp mind. I cannot have judgment. I'm hoping no single combat. Precision and grace. As long as they don't have single combat, I feel Pretty decent about killing them. They need they need single combat or concerted strike. Strike without. Okay, so yeah, they can't have concerted strike. They've already used one single combat. So hopefully not another. This puts them down to five. So might here kills them. And so they have to have single combat, but even if they do, maybe they single combat with Fiora instead of the Screeching Dragon, and so the Transfusion can save that. All right, there we go. Squeeze out a nice win there. Might, again, was awesome, right? Like, that might was awesome. So Might, overall, was really awesome for us. It did, you know, like, it did get eaten up by the Hush against the Tom Kench deck. But overall, I really liked the Might. Um, both Might and Transfusion. Loved both of those. 
Uh, maybe I want one less unit, one more spell, maybe. I'm not sold on the crowd favorites, honestly. It's not sold on that card. The Battlecaster did pretty good. I, I can't complain about Battlecaster. It did pretty good, especially having two Battlecasters. Um, and they be able to be three twos. It did pretty good. And we saw that last game, House Spider plus Battlecaster looked nice. It put a lot of power into play. Um, I wouldn't play a third deny. No, I would not play a third deny. I think that's that's too many denies. It's Deny is not a card you want in every matchup. And even the matchups that you have it. Like... Because you don't want like two denies like that. That hurt us that one game of having the the two denies against the, um, against the, nocturne deck. No, I wouldn't play Nopify. I would if you if you want more spells, transfusion and might are the way to go. Wouldn't play any more. That would be eleven spells. I would not play more than like eleven. Still, that's a lot of spells. I wouldn't play any more than that. Like you could cut. The crowd favorites play another transfusion, another might, and then I would play a one drop, like a blade scout. You know, or you know, blade scout in the late game with multiple attacks. Katarina is good, but of course you just you need you want cheap stuff. Um, either that, or you could play one. You know, you could could keep like one crowd favorite. You could play the Fey Guide and grant like Zed elusive or something elusive. Or even like a Stand United. Like Stand United is pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind having like one Stand United up there. That would probably be over a Transfusion or a Might. But yeah, you know, because I, I play like these kind of decks quite a bit, and I get you get a lot of kills with Stand United. Yeah, Fake Guide, Fake Guide could be nice. Even just Fake Guide like after like Iron Blista and give this thing, you know, give Iron Blista elusive. But even like later on, like if you have Turn Five Kato. Turn six, you go like Fey Guide the Kato, and then you and then you also have like Transfusion or Might available. Um, no, I didn't think three fervors was too much. I think that the fervors were really important at being removal for you know misfortunes and things like that, and then they also go upstairs. No, I don't think three fervors is too much. I would probably go probably go here. Probably just go with the Fey Guide and go with these two. But I would definitely be thinking about like with this. So the Might was good for sure. But that's something that if three if three might looks like it's too much, you could take one out for a stand united, or of course you can just play another fake guide. Um, so those are those are probably your different options of like cards to to play around with with uh, different different slots if you feel like something's not performing too well. Um, other cards you could play are stand united. Um, crowd, I mean crowd favorite's not it's not embarrassing or anything. Like you can definitely play crowd favorite. So stand united, crowd favorite, fake guide, those three. Um, Whirling Death is honestly another option in here, especially when you're playing Mites and stuff like that. Um, but if you're playing Whirling Death, that means you're, you're probably taking out, like, Fervor or Deny. You know, like, if you end up not needing those, like, Whirling Death's a pretty decent option. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, as we talked about with your extra one drop being Navori Blade Scout. All right, but anyway, there's Katarina Zed. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.